So here we are today back at uh, the uh, Big Bike Society uh, Service Centre, uh, here with my mate here, Java, Jar Jar Binks. Uh, no, Jar Jar Binks, he's not going to make my bike today. <laughs> but yes, uh, uh, we've, we've got a conversation going here with one of the guys who actually speaks English. He's a gamer too. I don't know what game you play, we're just talking about the games I play. Um, so he can speak English, which is good. And we just brought the bike down. So I've talked about, uh, so I've talked about, uh, we're just going to do an oil change, an oil filter change, uh, lubricate, the, lubricate the chain, uh, just check everything out. And I also found out today that the, the lock on my Givy here is jammed up. Again, I haven't used it for sort of, you know, like, I haven't put a key in that for 12 months, and I think it's just uh, general humidity has got inside the lock and jammed everything up, and he's going to see if he can fix that out as well for me today. But it's all good. Go through the checking process. Interestingly enough, it's a drive-in. He'll fix it while I wait, which I sort of wasn't really expecting that. Uh, I was expecting to drop the bike down, uh, but I guess there's not much to be done, so... Uh, They've got enough people here working along. They've got a couple of girls working here too. I don't know if they're just girls, you know, the, they're just the, uh, the biker club bitches. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but uh, uh, they seem like a nice enough bunch of guys. Uh, having one of them that actually speaks English makes my job a bit easier as well. So um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I've actually talked to him about so seeing what we can do about the exhaust pipe as well. Um, I don't know, I think I mentioned the other day, so that again, I sort of caught myself not carefully on the bike. Um, and that exhaust pipe gets really, really hot. Um, notice he's got the, the racking thing here. Now, I've actually got one of those things at home as well. Um, but I said I'd rather, I'd rather pay a couple hundred baht for them to change it, you know, rather than sort of change it myself. Uh, they seem to know what they're doing. Uh, too bad we don't have a centre kickstand on that, but uh, let's see how they go. <laughs> it's a bit of a, you know, doing this a one hand, you know, one person trying to do that can be a bit tricky. Uh, it's usually better with two people. I know I've got Shania at home, she could probably sort of help out if I was trying to do that. But uh, it definitely makes service on the bike a little bit easier. So lift it up, lift the back wheel up and stabilise the bike so they can, uh, so they can motivate, uh, you know, so they can lubricate the chain. He says, look at the tension on the chain that doesn't need to change, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, I, sort of, I did sort of mention that I'd like to sort of see what it would cost to change the actual um, baffle or the pipe, you know, the, the uh, suppressor on that. I don't know what do you call a muffler? Uh, I don't know what they are internationally. I think in Australia we call them mufflers. Uh, changing that sort of uh, custom-made one there for something like a saffronic uh, something that actually sort of a bit more industry standard, lowering the actual uh, volume of the, the bike down, but still giving it a full follow, flow through. So we'll get the work done on the, on the bike today. We'll get an idea how much that might cost and when I might be able to get that in. Uh, it's not a high priority. Like the bike so still quite run, runs quite well, so we'll see how we go. Well, I don't think they do. They check the water, top the top the, the coolant up, they change the oil, change the oil filter. They've redone the chain and cleaned the chain all up, so it's all nicely lubed up. Um, yeah, so the um, uh, the lock here is a bit stiff, but uh, they blew it out with the air gun and the WD-40, and we managed to get the thing loosened up enough to get the thing open. Uh, what else was there? Uh, he's just gone through and just lubricated all the. Um, all the moving parts there on the chains and the bits and pieces were all good. And he's got a bill for me. And I bet you it's not too much. How much? 1,650. Yes, sir. My bad. Okay, I'll give you money. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so we're all done. We've, we've paid the bill. I get in my car so he can give me a call um, about the exhaust changeover. Uh, and what's your name again? Good to My name is Tu. Two, master two. two. Master two. Yes, sir. Mr. Two. Yes. Kun Chu. Kun, kun Song. Two. Kun Song. No, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so that's Mr. Two. We will uh, we'll sort that out. We've got my bike out to, in, the, um, in the yard. We've all done that. So say goodbye to everybody. Bye bye, everybody. Yay. <laughs> everybody wants to be a star. Uh, where's my helmet? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and uh, we'll get on going. 
Yeah, so that was actually quite an enjoyable experience. Like you get those sort of experiences sometimes here in Thailand. So a, 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 a Thai mechanic who actually speaks English and he speaks really good English. So he's my new best friend now. Um, so all I got to do now, I've got the uh, I've got the materials for. I know I bought some uh, bike cleaning material, or some car washing materials, bike cleaning materials uh, a little while ago. Uh, car shampoo. Um, so. I'm going to give the bike a bit of a once-over since we've got all the all the running gear going. It needs just a general clean-up now, so I'm going to go and busy myself this afternoon and get the whole thing all cleaned up and ready and spick and span for riding this summer. Um, can't wait. I can't wait for Todd to get here. And of course, we'll be taking the uh, the CB down uh, next Monday. Uh, there's a bit more work needed on that. That's something I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to leave with the boys, um, but we'll sort of see how they go. They may just got to do it all on the spot again. Who knows? Uh, certainly wasn't expecting an on-the-spot situation, so there you go. Anyway, guys, peace out. Uh, good to have you along on the journey, so um, <laughs> we'll catch up with you next time. <laughs> peace out and stay cool. I, I want you to live.